Yesterday, I showed you how to get to Mexico in Red Dead Redemption 2, and today I'm going to show you how to get back to the tropical island of Guarma. Now, there is unfortunately a downside to this, just like getting to Mexico, and that is, to do this, you must have completed the main storyline for Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you have not yet done that, now is your spoiler warning. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to Jumpman Germ, the founder of the Mexico Glitch, and this one as well. If y'all could please go to his channel, the link is in the description, and just let him know that his work is very much appreciated and that he did a great job. That would be awesome. And also, if you are able to get to Guarma because of this video right here, well, hopefully I can earn your thumbs up and your subscription. Now to get to Guarma, the first thing you need to do is actually be in Mexico. If you don't know how to go to Mexico, watch my four minute guide that I uploaded yesterday. The link is at the very top of the description. Now once you are actually inside of Mexico, you need to pull up your map and go straight down and all the way over to the right until the map does not move anymore. Place a waypoint right there and start your journey. This is going to take between 10 to 15 minutes, but to make it even faster, what you can do is use the cheat code the lucky be strong evermore and this will actually give you infinite stamina and also you will need the cheat run 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 which is going to actually spawn you a racehorse because you cannot actually bring your horse into Mexico. Now once you reach your waypoint what you need to do is open your map back up and go straight south go straight down and before you know it you're going to get the notification on the screen letting you know that you are actually in Guarma but it's not going to look like Guarma it's going to be hills and there's going to be very low resolution uh, textures everywhere so what you need to actually do is just keep running and at some point you're going to actually fall through the map now once you fall through the map you're going to die but that's what you want to do as long as you are still in Guarma and you can check by actually pressing down on your d-pad and once you actually die you're going to spawn back in on the island of Guarma and you're actually going to be able to run around and explore a little bit of the jungle and a little bit of a town side but the only downside to this is that there seems to be an invisible sniper somewhere on the map so no matter where you are if you're behind cover if you get to a certain point in Guarma you will start getting shot at and you will unfortunately die but the great thing about being able to go back to Guarma this location that we visit in chapter 6 is that if you missed any animals to study for your compendium well you can do that you can study these animals and you can even talk to some of the the people and interact with people around the map still which is pretty freaking awesome but nonetheless that's how you get to Guarma in Red Dead Redemption 2 it's actually very simple just a little more on the time consuming end so with that said hopefully y'all did enjoy this video and if you are able to get to Guarma because of this video right here hopefully I can earn your thumbs up and your subscription a little love goes a long way but other than that that's all the time we have for today I am Zach Cox thank y'all for tuning in and I hope to see ya in the next video.